All right, so I got a super urgent and important video for all my short sellers out here. Okay, this is super, super important. Hopefully, this saves you a ton of money, okay, because I believe we may see the NASDAQ pump 5% in the next five days, and we may see Bitcoin pump another 10% in the next five days, okay? So there's a, there's a real chance here, guys, and I want you to be careful that Bitcoin pumps out to 22, 23K here in the next week, all right? And so I want you guys to be careful, okay, because what happens a lot of times, all right, is you guys are shorting the market, right? And you, you know, you're short, you're short, you're short, especially when you're down here, right? You keep shorting, you keep shorting until the market reverses, okay? And when the market reverses, so many short sellers get wrecked because they're not ready for the reversal. They're so used to winning on the short side that when the when the market finally reverses, you guys get squeezed out and you guys get wrecked, okay? And, you know, every great short seller has had to go through the pain of, you know, shorting, 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 making a ton of money, and then boom, that reversal point comes, and boom, you lose a good bit of money when it reverses, okay? So I want you guys to be incredibly, incredibly careful right now because I believe there's a very good chance, like I said, we're going to see the NASDAQ pump 5% in the next five days here, and then we're going to see Bitcoin pump another 10% potentially. All right, let me explain to you why, guys. Let me explain why. So check this out here, okay? So if you look at this chart right here, this is the NASDAQ, right? And today we pumped massively. And basically what happened, we started the day down big, okay? We started the day down 180 points today, right? So typically when you start the day down bad and you recover all the losses from the pre-market, not only do you recover all those losses, but you finish significantly higher that is an incredibly, incredibly powerful move, which oftentimes is going to signify a reversal in the short term. And when, what happens when you get a move like this is a lot of times you're going to have many consecutive days to the upside. A lot of times you can get three to four days to the upside straight after uh, something like this. And I want to show you guys something very cool here. Okay, so let's go to the 20 day chart one hour time frame the last time we saw something incredibly similar to this guys check take a look at this look at this you gap down right you you gap down you open significantly lower look at this boom and look at this you pump up right so same thing here you gap down open significantly lower and you'll pump up right so just look at this right here see this right here uh see this right here and see this right here it's the same thing right and so now i want you to notice okay Notice this. Look, look at this first high right here. Okay. Look at this first high right here. Okay. So here's the first high. Then you dump. Here's the first high. Then you dump. Then you pump. Then you pump. Okay. Then you set the second high right here, guys. Right. Does everyone see this? You set the second high slightly higher. Right. Right here. You set the second high slightly higher, guys. Then you do pull back to begin the next day, but then look what happens after that. Like I said, you get many consecutive days to the upside. You get one day, two day, and you open and gap up higher. So pretty much like three consecutive days to the upside before reversing lower. And that's exactly what I think we're about to see happen again here. And last time we saw this, okay, from the top right here up to the peak, over the next four days, we pumped, uh, okay, sorry, we didn't see that. We pumped 4.3% in the NASDAQ. Okay, so I want you to measure from here. If we go up another 4.3%, guys, where is that going to take us? Okay, another 4.3% will get us to right here. Look at this, a higher high. Okay, look at this, higher high, higher high, higher high, higher low, higher low. Look at this. So. Then it would make sense you pull back from up here down to support before you potentially break down, okay? So I just want you guys to notice this pattern here, right? So anytime you start the day off is significantly down and actually recover all those losses and finish higher, that is a sign of a short-term bottom, okay? Look at this. I want you guys to notice a stock like Carvana up 30% today, okay? Look at this, guys. Holy moly, right? From 21 bucks up to 27 bucks, you got stocks like Tesla, okay, up from 650 bucks up to 700 bucks. Okay, this is a very, very aggressive buy. 
Okay, and uh, you know the the this, the key characteristic about this is that the day started off significantly lower and then it recovered and then it finished higher, right? It's not just your regular day where you just go higher. No, no, it started significantly lower, recovered all the losses and finished higher. See, that is a short-term trend reversal, guys. And when it happens on strong volume, like I said, a lot of times you're gonna push higher for three days straight, okay? And so here is where a lot of short sellers are sitting here. Everyone is incredibly bearish, right? But what ends up happening is when Bitcoin finally reverses and everyone's short, okay, short sellers all of a sudden get squeezed. And before you know it, Bitcoin pumps 10% in two days, okay, 10% in one day. And all of a sudden, short sellers just get crushed, okay. And all the bear market profits you made, you might even throw them away in one single trade if your risk management's not good, okay. So, Realize this is coming from someone who is known to be a bear, right? I'm known for calling the crashes. I'm known for my predictions I'm known for literally today. We shorted the market and we made eight thousand dollars shorting the market Okay, so we shorted today Okay, we made eight thousand dollars shorting up here then we closed out down here and then we went long right here Okay, and you know currently we're in the long making twenty seven hundred over here and making twenty seven hundred over here so up 5,400 right now. Uh, we were just up around $8,000, but we did pull back a little bit from uh, right here, right? So we were we made $8,000 on the short side today, and now we're making $8,000 on the long side almost, okay? And basically, I just it's so so important, guys, because any great short seller has been through it. Any great short seller has been too aggressively short until the trend reversed, and when the trend reversed, you weren't ready for it, and it crushed you, and it you 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 know you should never get liquidated but basically it just squeezes up to your stop loss right oh uh, and you just get wrecked okay every great short seller has been through that and so i'm telling you this is one of those moments where a lot of you guys it's your first time shorting the market this is your first time getting into shorting maybe and so you're going to be so aggressively short here you're not going to be ready for it when the market's going to pump up because you're not expecting it it's going to wreck you okay and so you know, what if I'm wrong? What if we don't pump up? Okay, fine. But at least I'm warning you to be very, very careful of us squeezing through and absolutely destroying any short sellers out there. Okay? It's a very painful day when the, the, the bear trend reverses and it squeezes higher and catches the short sellers off guard. It really, really crushes you. Okay? So I'm just trying to save people from that because I believe there's a very, very real chance, very real probability that we are going to squeeze out higher here to potentially 23 22k okay now i want to show you the levels we're watching right now okay right here so basically we have a supply zone between 20,900 and 21,000 okay this is the first place i expect us to get a rejection okay and pull back okay now notice this guys right let's go back to the nasdaq chart okay so you can see you have a slightly higher high after you pump up from the dump, right? Then you actually, uh, you know, sell off a little, open the day kind of in between. Basically, at the beginning of the day, look at this. You pump, you dump, and then they pump it back up. It depends where we open, right? But basically, it's expect a dip tomorrow intraday. Expect a dip intraday and buy the dip intraday tomorrow. I believe that's going to work really, really well, okay? Um and I do believe we're going to push higher. But basically, look, this is your first level of resistance you're looking out for is 21,000. After that, you're looking at 21,963. Okay. After that, you're looking at 23,000. But basically, I would short this level. And here's what's the crazy part about, about a big get, guys, is you can open a short and a long at the same exact time. And you can keep both of them open. Right, so if you want to create an account on BitGet, I'll leave a link for you down below. It's a VIP link. If you're a crash trader, you're going to get reduced fees, extra twenty dollars when you sign up. And so basically, you can short right here, right, while keeping your long position open. And then w once we dip a little off that level, you can take some profit, move your stop loss up to your entry, and now no matter what, if the market dumps off, you're going to make a whole lot of money. If the market keeps pumping, you're going to make a whole lot of money. You see what I mean? 
and basically you're not going to lose any money on that short because you're going to set your stop loss over to your entry point, right? So that's a super super you know convenient thing that you get with BitGet. I use both BitGet and Femex, okay, and uh, you know I just I really like these exchanges, especially you know some of the features that that BitGet has is super nice. But basically, you know this is the area I'd look to short, and depending on if we reach that level with bearish divergence. You know, if you reach this level of bearish divergence, it's like an 80% probability you're going to pull back from that level, okay? But right now, we're already kind of getting some bearish divergence, so we may actually approach that level and not have bearish divergence by the time we get there. So it's super important you know how to read charts because based on whether you have divergence or not is going to determine the probability of your trade. If you have divergence going into supply, then you're probably going to win that trade 80% of the time. If you do not have bearish divergence, then you probably do want, do not want to short this resistance. Doesn't make sense. A lot of people short the market without having divergence and other, you know, factors uh, to include with their trade. Okay, when you have the more factors you have to confirm your trade of you know why you're doing it and why you're confident in it, the more you're going to be confident in it, right? If you only have one reason, oh, I'm going to short it because it's resistance. Well. Just because it's resistance doesn't mean it's going to drop. Okay, resistance gets broken all the time, so you need other clues and other information to determine whether that resistance is going to have a very high probability of holding or not. Okay, obviously I teach all that in the crash training charts course, but I'm just telling you right now in this little video, you know how you would know if this is a good short entry. Look for divergence as you come into supply. All right, so this is a shorting opportunity, but you would do that to basically hedge against your long. So that way, okay, we dip a little, you take a little bit of profit on your short, move your stop loss to your entry, and now if the market happens to dump off, you're good, right? You're going to make money on the short, and uh, yeah, then, then you make money whether the market pumps or dumps, which is great, right? So anyways, I believe once we get above this supply zone, I think it's very likely we're going to break through 21.8. Basically, if we break through the supply zone, I do think we're going to get to 22, 23K, okay? So... Yeah, 22, 23K, basically, we're going to get up to here, I believe. Okay, and that's where I'd be looking to short again, guys. I would not really be looking to aggressively short anywhere else. So if we get above supply, please relax. Do not short the market. Wait until we at least get up to 22, 23K before you consider shorting the market. Okay, that's my advice. Okay, you got to be careful because, man, we could really squeeze a lot of shorts here and easily pump up. And if you try to short too early here, or you don't set a stop loss to your entry after locking in a little bit of profit, you could be literal toast, guys. You you could be just destroyed. Okay, so that's what this video is mainly for. Is I just want to warn the short sellers out there because you know I'm a short seller. A lot of guys who watch me are short sellers. Be careful. Do not do not get caught on the reversal because it is a very painful and costly you know mistake if you're not ready for it and it hits you. Okay, so guys, uh, congrats to all our members in the long trade. Congrats to all our members who jumped into the uh, you know short trade. We made eight thousand dollars. Reverse and long trade up eight thousand dollars. So congrats to everyone in Crash Alerts, guys. If you're not in Crash Alerts, it's the first link down below. You can click uh, the link to join. But I would not join the alerts until you learn how to manage risk. Which guys, it is an amazing day to be a crash trader because today or tomorrow the risk management, the CT risk management course is coming out. Okay, and uh, yeah, basically. What happens is, like, like for example, you can see the last three weeks, okay, I've won like almost every single trade. Let's see here. Yeah, for the last three weeks, we've won almost every single trade. So what happens a lot of times is a lot of people get high, a lot of people get excited, a lot of people think that they're just going to keep winning every uh, every single trade. And so now if I go lose one or two trades, some people are going to blow up their entire account off of one loss, right? So you can win 10 times, but then there's people who lose all their money from one loss or two losses. And that's because they get carried away, they get high off the wins, and they have no risk management, no process to stay consistent and weather losses, right? That's the biggest problem with most people is everyone prepares to win and make money, but nobody prepares to lose money. You have to prepare for losing money because you will inevitably and, and you are guaranteed to lose money in the market okay but the key is you have to get past the times where you're losing a little bit of money 
and to, to be able to make it to the times where you're going to make the money. The problem is, right, everyone can make money, but as soon as a little period comes where the, you're not making money, you guys blow up your accounts and you destroy yourselves, okay? So, like, like I said, if you're not prepared to lose, you'll never win long term. You may win for like one month, but you're not going to win long term. So it's so important you learn to manage your risk. Otherwise, there's literally no point in joining my alerts because I could win 99 trades in a row. And then on the 100th trade, you're going to literally blow all the hard work that went into the, the 99 trades before it. Okay. So anyways, guys, I wanted to make this video for you. Please be careful because we have a real chance if we get past 21K to squeeze up to 23K. And uh, I hope we do. Because we're long and we're making a bunch of money. And uh, yeah, guys, that is my update for you today. Okay, so watch this level at 21K. If we break that, I think we're going to push up easily to 22, 23K. So this level is key right here. This supply zone is key. I do think it's pretty likely we could get a pullback there. So look for a short entry. Of course, if you're on BitGet, you could literally short and long at the same time. Move your stop loss to your entry. Okay, and that way, literally, no matter what happens, you're going to make money on the short or the long side, right? All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Short sellers, be careful out there. I don't want you to get caught on the reversal and get wrecked. Okay, I do believe it's pretty damn likely we're going to have three days straight higher. Okay, so be careful. All right, guys, I'll see you later.